So I, I pray our sending prayer every day. You, you know that about me, and uh, we're going to pray it at the end of our service today. But I pray it every day because I basically would say to God, I'm available, now make me aware. But I don't always get it right. Wish I did, but I don't always get it right. So a couple weeks ago, uh, Laura lives for Christmas. She loves Christmas. So I decided I was going to go to our neighborhood dollar store, and I was going to buy her a Christmas starter kit. Like I put a subscription to the Hallmark Channel in it, and uh, tip to guys, guys, single, married, dollar store, your best friend. Cheap gifts, very impressive. Okay, so I go there, I start buying all these little different Christmas uh, knick-knack things for her, and, and I go up to pay for it at the register, and, and as uh, the young lady there rings up the, the sale, I suddenly realize all I have on me is a $100 bill. I'm like, ah, at the dollar store. I'm like, this is not going to be good. Uh, and, and and some of you remember uh, the story I told a few weeks ago, and this is kind of important to the story. Um, I was about three hundred dollars short on my for a truck repair. I needed a truck repair, and I was three hundred dollars short. And by the grace of God and a miracle of God, someone who didn't even know I needed three hundred dollars gave me three hundred dollars. Bless me with three one hundred dollar bills. Thus, that was what was in my wallet. And she said, yeah, you, you could pay cash, and that's all I had. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll pay for it. And so I, I paid for it. She gave me, the, gave me the change, and she said, man, what are you doing with a $100 bill? I don't see those very often. And I just, that was my moment. I felt prompted by God. And I said, well, it's kind of a weird story. And I told her what I just told you. And as I walked out of the store, I just looked at her, and I said, you know, I, I think God wants to answer your prayer too. Maybe just pray and ask him, and I, I believe he's going to answer that for you. Turned, walked out of the store, and I was just really, I was like, man, I was really glad I'd listened to the voice of God. Except what happened next? So I heard God speak to me and prompt me, and he said, hey, go back and give her the change. <laughs> Wait, what? And I walked out of the store, and God said, go back and give her the change. Now, I got to tell you, to be honest, I thought I started um, kind of talking to myself and I kind of talked myself out of it because I was like, no, somebody gave me that money. That's for my truck. And obviously that's me. That's not God. Obviously that's not, that's not God. God wouldn't tell me to do that. I, he gave me that and I'm supposed to use that for me. And God just said, this is what you're supposed to do. And I got in my truck and I drove away. And I didn't do what God told me to do. And it just kept gnawing at me. And in fact, the next day I was here at the church where we are right now at the, uh, on our land, and I was prayer walking on the land, and I was out prayer walking. And in the middle of my prayer, God said, hey, you were supposed to give that young lady that your change. And I'm like, I know, God, I, I'm really sorry. I, re I blew that one. And he said, go back. I'm like, go back? It's like, go back. I'm like, I'm, go back. She's probably not even going to be there. And I, mean, I, I don't even remember who she was. And God says, <laughs> go back. And I'm like, okay, I'll go back. So that night I, I get in my truck that needs the repair. And I drive back to the, the dollar store. And as I pull into the dollar store, I am not making this up. There is one parking space and it's right in front of the front doors, not making that up. And so I was like, obviously God is not in this. Obviously God doesn't want me to do this. So I, I pull into that parking space and I start looking into the store to see if I can see the young lady. I can't really remember who she was. And then I see this cashier and I'm like, I think that was her. I'm pretty sure that was her. And so I walk into the store and uh, and I must have looked like I was casing the joint because I had my mask on and I was kind of just fumbling around, not really shopping, kind of looking around. I was like, this does not look good. But she had people that, um, that she was uh, checking out. And, and so once her line cleared, I went over and, and I said, um, hey, um, I was here uh, a few days ago. And, uh, and I said, uh, do you remember me? I, I was the one with the $100 bill. Do you remember me? And she, I'm not kidding, looked at me like, uh, and she had this look on her face like, oh, great, I bet I gave you the wrong change, and you're going to get on to me, and I'm going to get fired. She just had that look on her face, and I said, no, 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 this is actually good. I said, um, I said this is going to sound weird, but um, I was supposed to give you 
the change. And so I, I opened up my wallet and I pulled out the money and I handed it to her. And she just, she just had this look like, I don't even know what to do with this. And, and I said, it's okay that I give it to you, right? And she said, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I said, well, I just want you to know God, God told me to do it. She's like, thank you, thank you. And I was like, no, 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 this is, thank God he's watching out for you. And I'm, I didn't listen and now I am. And this is him doing this for you. And I turned to walk out of the store and all of a sudden I heard somebody say, hey, hey, sir, sir, wait. And I turned and looked and I didn't know this, but her manager and another employee were watching the whole thing. And her manager yells out and she says, no, thank you. No, you have no idea what this means. You have no idea. Thank you. And I just said, hey, don't thank me. Listen, this is about God. I'm just trying to do what God told me to do. You guys have a great day. And I turned and I went and I got in my truck. And when I sat in my truck and I looked back into the store, the three of them had gathered together and that young lady was just weeping. And I'm telling you, that was better than any gift I could have ever received. When Jesus says it's more, you're more blessed to give than to receive, I was like, can I give away the rest of this? I mean, I drove home, but I don't think my truck tires were on the ground. It was unbelievable the way in which God, I had been obedient to God. God wants to use you in the same way. I wanna challenge you. What if every day throughout the month of December, what if you prayed the sending prayer? What if you prayed that and you said, God, basically said this, God, I'm available, now make me aware. Maybe that's the only prayer you pray. God, I'm available, now make me aware. And then just look for opportunities. Look for opportunities to do good. And when the time's right, what if you shared Christ? I believe that God wants to use you. Like, He's calling all of us to live as missionaries on mission assigned to a mission field.